Today we are going to talk about scanning Cisco network devices. Cisco devices can be scanned using user exec mode level 7 or privilege exec mode level 15. While Nessus will be able to obtain more information and perform configuration audits with privilege exec mode, user exec mode should be enough to identify the operating system. So let's go ahead and take a look. First, let's SSH into the Cisco switch and verify the privilege levels and user accounts. I will be using two accounts, user exec and priv exec. You're right, not good names, but good for the demonstration. Put in the password. I do show privilege level, privilege level seven, exit out. Let's do priv exec now. Show privilege, privilege level 15. Okay, let's log into Nessus. Now that I'm logged into Nessus, we will run a scan on a Cisco switch, switch two, using the user exec username. I will first select a new scan, an advanced scan, and then I'm going to add in the switch two for the name and the IP address. Next, I'm going to add in credentials. I'm going to click SSH. I'm going to choose password, user, exec, and put in the password. For this illustration, I am not going to select elevated privileges to show the difference. Also, to ensure that I can show the difference between the severities, I'm going to choose an audit file to add. So we'll just choose this first CIS iOS 12 level 1 audit file. I'm going to accept these as the default and go ahead and do save. I'm going to click launch and the green circling arrows will indicate that the scan has started. And as completed, let's take a quick look. First, let's look at the Nessus Scan Information plugin. We'll expand the plugin output. And you can see that we ran a credentialed scan with the user exec account. We can also look here at the authentication success plugin and the local checks enabled plugin, which are good indicators that all privileges have been used and it's a successful scan. But if you notice, there is not any audit data or compliance data tab. So let's go ahead and edit our scan again and we'll only change the credentials and I'll change the username to be the privilege exec. We'll verify the compliance audit file. The audit file is still there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save. Go to the scan report and launch our scan. The scan is running. Now that the scan has completed with the privilege level user account, we can see that we have a compliance tab which shows the results of the audit file. We can also compare the two scans together by selecting more than one scan and selecting the diff option. You will see that we have the compliance checks and four vulnerabilities that returned a different result. This is a good example of how you can do a Cisco scan using Nessus Professional and compare the results of a privileged user versus a user exec user.